In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform long division of polynomials where the divisor is nonlinear. So here we've got a divisor of x squared plus 2x minus 1, and that's nonlinear because of the x squared term. Usually, when we're dealing with linear divisors, we just have something times x plus or minus something, but here we've got an x squared term, and this is going to be important through our process. Um, but to start off, it's going to be a really similar to setup to what we've seen. We're just going to start off, let's make a long division diagram, and let's put the divisor on the outside as usual. So x squared plus 2x minus 1 goes on the outside, and then the inside we'll put in the dividend. And remember that we have to write down all the zero coefficients. Um, so we've got an x to the fourth, but then there's no x to the third term. That means the coefficient is just zero. So x to the fourth plus zero x to the third, and then write down the rest, negative two x squared plus eight x plus one. Okay, so now our first step is always to take the highest degree of this dividend, let's write it down here, it's x to the fourth, take that highest degree term, and divide it by the highest degree term of the divisor. And this time, our highest degree term of the divisor is an x squared. It's the biggest nonlinear term here. So x squared. And when we do that division, we get a result. x to the fourth divided by x squared is just x squared. So we'll put our x squared up on top of its column here. And we'll now we have to multiply the, uh, the divisor by x squared to see what we should write underneath. So let's write that down x squared plus 2x minus 1 times our x squared yields a result of x to the fourth plus 2x to the third minus x squared. And that's all going to go underneath our, our dividend here. So x to the fourth plus 2x to the third minus x squared. And we can subtract and great, our x to the fourths cancel. That's the whole reason why we did this particular division here and chose this x squared so the leading terms would cancel. And then zero x to the third minus two x to the third, that's just negative two x to the third. Then negative two x squared minus negative x squared, that's like negative two x squared plus x squared because the negatives cancel. And then that's just minus one x squared. We'll bring down our eight x term and we'll just go ahead and repeat the process again. So take that leading, uh, leading term here, the highest degree term, negative two x to the third, divide it by the highest degree term of our divisor, uh, which was x squared, and get a result of negative two x. Put that result up on top here, where we're putting our quotient, and then we have to multiply the divisor by that result. So we'll do that down here. Write down the divisor, uh, multiply it by negative 2x, and we get uh, that's negative 2x to the third minus 4x squared plus 2x. And now we write that over here uh, underneath our columns. So negative 2x to the third minus 4x squared plus 2x, and we subtract. And again, uh, the leading terms cancel. Great, that's what we wanted. And then negative x squared minus negative 4x squared, it's just negative x squared plus 4x squared, uh, which is 3x squared. And then 8x minus 2x is 6x. And bring down our last term, our 1 plus one. Okay, so now we just have to do one more iteration of this whole process. So take this leading term here, highest degree term, 3x squared, divide it by the highest degree term in the, in the divisor, which is x squared, and that is equal to three. So put that up here with the rest of our quotient, and now we have to multiply our divisor by three, x squared plus 2x minus 1 times 3. That yields a result of 
3x squared plus 6x minus 3. And we write that underneath here in its corresponding rows or columns. 3x squared uh, plus 6x minus 3. And we subtract. So 3x squared minus 3x squared, these cancel. 6x uh, minus 6x, these cancel. 1 minus negative 3 is just 1 plus 3 or 4. So that's our remainder, remainder of 4. Okay, so what does this all mean then? What's the takeaway? What's the, what's the end result? What did we figure out um, our, our long division came out to? Um, so remember from before that the dividend divided by the divisor When we do long division on this, we get a quotient and a remainder. And we know that the dividend divided by the, the divisor is equal to the quotient plus the remainder over the divisor. So let's use this to state our result here. So our result the dividend was this x to the fourth polynomial, so x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 8x plus 1 divided by our divisor. Our divisor was x squared plus 2x minus 1. That is equal to our quotient, which is up here, x squared minus 2x plus 3 plus our remainder, so plus for our remainder divided by the divisor. And divisor is same as before, x squared plus 2x minus 1. All right, there we go. There is our result. That's how we can express that polynomial division problem when we do the, the long division process. Here is a similar example, except this time the divisor has an even higher degree. This is a third degree divisor this time. Our setup's going to be the same as before. We're going to set up a long division diagram. And on the outside of that diagram, we'll put the divisor, our two x to the third minus three. And then on the inside of that diagram, we'll put our dividend, four x to the fourth, plus 6x to the third, plus 2x squared. But wait, there's more. We're missing an x term and a constant term here. That just means the coefficients of those terms are zero. And we want to write those down also. So plus zero, x plus zero. Okay, now that this is all set up, we can go ahead and proceed with our computations. So take the highest degree term of the, divide, uh, of the dividend here, so 4x to the fourth, and divide it by the highest degree term of the divisor, which is 2x to the third. So let's do that division, and our result is just 2x. So we put our 2x up here uh, in the x column, and then we take our divisor, 2x to the third minus 3, and we multiply it by that result of 2x. And what do we get? Well, we get 4x to the fourth minus 6x. So let's write that here uh, under the dividend in the correct columns. So 4x to the fourth goes in the x fourth column and then minus 6x goes all the way over here in the x column. So we'll subtract these and 4x to the fourth minus 4x to the fourth cancels, great. Uh, the 6x to the third comes down because we're just subtracting 0 from it. 6x to the third, then 2x squared minus 0 is just 2x squared. And then 0x minus negative 6x is just positive 6x. Okay, great. Um, so now we're, we're good to do another round. We'll bring down our 0 term and we'll do another iteration of this process. So take that highest degree term, 6x to the third, divide it, divide it by the highest degree term of the divisor, which was 2x to the third. And what is that result? That result 
is 3. So we put the 3 up here in our quotient and take our divisor, 2x to the third minus 3, and multiply it by that result of 3. And that produces 6x to the third minus 9. Okay, so let's write this underneath here in the corresponding column. So 6x to the third goes with the other 6x to the third, and then minus 9 goes with the constant term. And we're going to subtract that. And when we do that, our 6x to the third terms cancel. Then we just have a 2x squared term, then plus 6x, then 0 minus negative 9 is just 0 plus 9, so 9. And there we have it, there's our, there's our remainder. I know this looks a little bit larger than usual. Usually we're, we're used to having just a, an x term or a constant in our remainder. Here we've got an x squared, but that's okay. Uh, our remainder can be pretty large as long as its degree is smaller than the degree of the divisor. Here the degree is two, Here in our, in our divisor the degree is three. Uh, so this is all okay. So let's put that remainder 2x squared plus 6x plus 9. And now let's write down our main conclusion. So our main conclusion is that the original division problem, 4x to the fourth plus 6x to the third plus 2x squared, that's our dividend. And if we take our dividend, we divide it by the divisor 2x to the third minus 3, we get a result uh, that is our quotient up here, 2x plus 3, plus our remainder, 2x squared plus 6x plus 9, divided by the divisor. So divided by 2x to the third minus 3. And that is our result. So remember, it's okay to have a fairly big remainder. Uh, the only constraint that has to be satisfied is the degree of the remainder has to be smaller than the degree of the divisor. So the remainder can, can contain more terms than the divisor, like here the remainder contains three terms, the divisor only contains two terms, but the remainder has a degree of two which is smaller than the degree of three. So everything is okay here. So that's, yep, that's our main result. In the future, we'll learn a faster way to do polynomial division in the case of a linear factor which is called synthetic division.